Hi, welcome to our next playthrough through the Playing Board Games Play Along League, uh, Season 3. This is Butthead, and we're going to be playing, this time around, we're going to be playing the Scarlet Keith campaign. Um, so apologies in advance for people who have not completed this campaign and will not be watching all the way through. However, um, it's the new hotness, and I actually want to give it another spin. I haven't played it in a while. So uh, I've decided to take a double flex comp with Ashcan and Dexter Drake. And as a reminder, um, the play along league, this has uh, weird uh, rules for deck building. And this season, we're allowed to take three cards from each cycle, um, where a cycle includes, let's say, the Corset, Dunwich, Carcosa, etc. And the only thing that's a sort of exception or a rule is that you clump up all the Investigator Slayer decks and call them one cycle, which means you can only play 30 card deck uh, Investigators, such as Ashcan and Dexter. I'm going to go over the idea of both decks and the deck list. So both of them are going to be kind of flexy. Ashcan is going to be sort of a scavenging deck. So obviously we took two scavenging for our corset cards and an unexpected courage. For our uh, Dunwich cards, we took a Singleton Fire Axe because we do need a way to fight. And we took two Peter Sylvesters, which are going to be very, very good. And also they're Ashcan's best friend. For Carcosa, not a lot of options there. Resourceful is obviously a very good red card, so we took two of these. And our third card was some icons and none without a fight. Has similar eyes to uh, resourceful, but it has brain instead of book, which is pretty good because we're going to use brain a lot. We're going to be sort of a spelly P. Our Forgotten Age cards is a singleton backpack, which is going to be an easy upgrade into 12 to find all of our items. And we took two winging it, so we can help it with investigations. Um, it's also a pretty good card because you can pitch it to Duke and then just play it out of your discard pile. Our Circle and Dung cards are uh, a Singleton Track Shoes. And we took also two Six Senses, so we can investigate using our brains, as I said. It's going to be a very uh, important point for our playthrough to use our brain stat for uh, flexing. For Dream Meters, we took two Moonstones, which are going to be very good, again, buffing our brain, and also our foot is going to help us do stuff. And uh, for the last one, we took a Singleton Scrounge, which is very good early scenario in the earlier scenarios, and it's going to be very easy to upgrade out of. Um, looking into um, the Innsmouth Conspiracy, we took some economy with Faustian Bargains, and also the Red Glove Man is on it, so it's it's an instant flavor win. And our, we rounded it up with a Singleton Sword Cane, again, helping for the flexing, and we're going to also be using our uh, brain, again, uh, buffing it. Then we go into Edge of the Earth, so economy through Schaffners, which are probably going to stay most of the most of the life of the uh, campaign. But we're going to also want ice picks. That's what this deck is going to do eventually. And we took a singleton jury rig, which is going to be great again earlier on. It's a bit of unexpected courage for our item assets, especially the fire axes or sword canes. For Scarlet Keys, we went for a singleton customizable card of Pocket Multi Tool which we're going to try upgrading into the at least the investigate and the fighty one. So it's going to help us investigating and fighting, which is going to play. It's going to play a sort of third um, third ice pick role. And then we took also two end of the roads, which are going to be uh, extra actions are always pretty nice. And it's a bit of card draw and economy. And finally, for the starter decks, we went for two take hearts and a live and learn. Um, kind of funny enough that all of these are actually forgotten age cards but again economy and card draw and some lucky variant so that's going to be ashcan and his random basic weakness which i forgot to show was haunted so all of his weaknesses are double actions to get rid of for dexter uh we uh, we're aiming to be a big money deck so um you'll see we have a well connected which is going to be an easy upgrade eventually We'll go over the picks here. There are a lot of more singletons here, also due to Dexter's ability that you can play other items, so other assets, so you want to be a bit flexible on that. So we took a singleton Holy Rosary from our core set, and we took two Wards of Protections, which is uh, obviously, you're playing Mystic, it's a very good card. Then, which is a bit of a 1-1-1 one, one, one split, we took a singleton uh, Dark Horse, not Dark Horse, uh, Lone Wolf, for a bit of economy, a singleton Rite of Seeking for investigating, and as I said, we're trying to be a bit flex and a singleton ritual candles, which is pretty good. Um, for Carcosa, not a lot of options here. So we took a singleton on Quiche de Sol and two Watch This's. Again, for a bit of economy, we're going to try being a big money deck. 
Um, Forgotten Age, two Mists of Rilia, because uh, we need to have some spells that do things. And since we can't take a lot of fighty spells, we'll have a bit of evadey spells. That's pretty good as well. I do like Mists of Rilia. It also gives a bit of uh, movement. And a Singleton Lucky Cigarette Case for card draw. Circle Undone, we went for a 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one split. So we took Singleton Scroll of Secrets, which is going to help a bit of manipulating our deck. Singleton Well Connected, as I said, that's going to be the uh, one of the most important cards in the deck. In the deck. And a Singleton Deny Existence, which is obviously a good Mystic card. Um, Dream Eaters, we went for the Spell Event Suite. We're probably going to be keeping these most of the campaigns. So two of Spectral Razors, because we needed more fighting options, and a Singleton Redesigns. Um, again, Faustian Bargains for Economies out of Innsmouth. Again, very flavorful and a very, very good card. And trying to be a big money deck is going to be very important for us. Um, the last Innsmouth card we took is, um, where is it? Sword King. Once again, very good for decks. Interestingly enough, they both took the same cards for Innsmouth. Um, Edge of the Earth was very lackluster. We're probably going to go for the upgraded spells eventually, but we took a Singleton Scout ahead, which is okay-ish. It also has double icons, which is pretty good, and two 21 or busts, which are, again, good economy cards and going to help us feed our well-connected. And for Scarlet Keys, we took uh, a bit of a gamble with customizable cards. We took a Singleton Living Ink, which is going to be helpful to bust our buff our brain. We chose brain. Silicon Power Word, which I've heard is very good, and I want to see how good it is. So I'm going to try sinking a lot of XP into this. And uh, the final one we took was, um, where is it? Is a Singleton. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where are you, Scarlet Keys? I can't I find explosive word. Yeah. Um I think this is not as good as it as I think it is, but it's gonna help for some free damage and it also has two fist icons, so it might help. Uh, sorry for the bit of the delay. I should have remembered this. And for the investigator expansions, we're just trying to buff the get more spells to ver to have some fighting and uh, clue options. So a second clairvoyance to uh, accompany the Rite of Seeking and to Azure Flame since we didn't take shrivelings from the core set since we wanted some uh, other good corset cards. Okay, and his random weakness is uh, Nihilism. Okay, that's also a double action, not the worst. We're gonna shuffle these up, and what we're gonna do is we're going to be playing Scarlet Keys. I will be using the Arkham Cards app because it really helps tracking much easier uh, everything. I think the only thing I'm gonna do is gonna mark the time in this campaign log, but otherwise all the decisions are gonna be made in the app. I will try showing on the map where we're doing. So uh, we're starting in London and we play Riddles and Rain. So I'm going to set that up. We're going to play on standard difficulty. I'm going to give myself a copy of the uh, scenario reference card. Um, and what we do is we meet up, we go on our own as we were asked, which only spends one time because we want to keep our time uh, appropriately. And then we will cooperate. So we will remove the squid and we will add a tablet. Okay, so uh, now we have two tablets in the bag, which are minus ones. And if there's a mini card at our location, we reveal another token. So uh, that's all the uh, scenario fluff or the introduction we have to do. We'll shovel the encounter deck. And we'll get the other cards we need ready up. Okay, and we're going to... I like spreading these out, so they're easier to find. And we have two, two Doom Advances, and we don't remove the Doom when we advance this. And we need to spend four clues before the agenda advances. Okay, let's draw our opening hands. So for Ashkan, we have an interesting opening hand. We might mull against some of these cards. And for Daxter, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this will be the first and last time I need to do this. Daxter's hand is also kind of meh. I think what we're going to do, though this economy is pretty good, so I'm going to mulligan these three cards. Here we're going to probably keep these three cards. The Sword King is going to help us, so it's the Moonstone. These cost 5. Pocket multi tool is a bit expensive, but this is pretty good economy, so we might mulligan one card. Let's do that. One card, and here, one, two, three. Okay, we have some investigative options. We, we're we pretty set up to go. Okay, so we start in the rain on the streets. It has four clues, and it gets plus X shroud, where X is the current act number, so it's act one, so it's two shroud. So it's going to be pretty easy to pick up some clues here. 
So, uh, first action we do, we'll investigate with Duke. We're at a 4 to 2. That's an Elder Sign that readies Duke. Second action, we'll investigate again with Duke at a 4 to 2. That's a minus 1. We will pitch this Moonstone to Ready Duke. Pay 3 to play it. And last action, we'll investigate again with Duke at a 4 to 2. It's the third clue. Okay. So uh, Ashcan has pretty set us up for everything. So first action, we'll play a Holy Rosary. Second action, we'll uncage the soul out, a Red of Seeking. And we don't want to get the last clue with Red of Seeking, so what we'll do is we'll play a lovely 21 or bust game. Let's start. So that's 1 or 10, but I may choose it whenever I want. So for now, it's an 11. So add 12, 13. 15. So an auto fail is a 10. So 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Still 15. That's a 5, so it's a 20, so we'll gain 6 resources. Okay, and we buffed our brain with the rosary. Okay, let's do upkeep. Okay, pretty good cards. 1, 2, boom. Encounter card is. Okay, this is kind of a freebie. And for Dexter. Uh, the surges, and we get an obscuring fog. Less of a freebie now. So now we need to investigate properly here. So now it's a force rod location, and we need that clue. Um, I think it's possible we can also get some card draw out of it. So first of all, let's investigate regularly at a two to four. And we fail. We draw two cards and gain two resources. Second action, we're going to run out one, two, three. So this is going to help us pay for stuff, but we're going to play the pocket multi-tool, and then we'll investigate at a 5 to 4. Let's go 6 to 4. Okay, that's minus 1. I'll retain this take heart, and we get this clue, breaking the obscuring fog, and also netting two clues back, because that's what the forced ability does here. Okay, um, before we take Dexter's turn, we're going to advance. Okay, we put out the rest of the location, so we have Big Ben, let's put it up here. Westminster Abbey going here, and the Kings and Garbin that go here. We draw the Red Glove Man and place him in the shadows with two decoys. And we'll shuffle these up real good. We have to place one in our location. We'll put, this is a victory location, but it punishes us for revealing, so we'll put one here and one here. And we advance immediately to uh, Agenda 2. And now that we're in Act 2, this has a Shroud of 3. Okay, so now we get Dexter's turn. So first action, we're going to run out this Scroll of Secrets, and we're going to immediately use it to look at the bottom card of our deck. See what we get. We'll take this power word to our hand. Second action, we will get this victory, and then we'll come back to Exposing. We'll go here. And last action, we're going to spend a Rite of Seeking Charge. We're going at a 6 to 2, up by 4. That's pretty good, and we get these two clues. Okay, good. I know you face nothing. We do upkeep. Nihilism. That's a pretty okay time to get it. Two of four. Well, we have to take two damage since we don't have the clues. So one on us and one on Duke. This goes away. And we get a locked door. That's a very free card here. Oh, the location with the most clues is unintentional. Locked door. So that actually goes here. Okay. Um, what shall we do? Now, we can't investigate here, so in case this is the Red Above Man, we will know for a while. So first action, we're going to walk up. So we won't walk up, right? We want to duke up. Um, we could duke into here, so let's do that. We'll duke into here, because this is a one trial location. We're investigating at a 4 to 1. It's minus 1. Let's use it to reveal. It's a decoy. That's our first action. Second action... Um, how many turns do we have left? We have one more turn. So we'll run out this Schaffner's catalog. And one, two, three. We're going to run out these track shoes. Okay. That's our turn. Dexter is going to use a scroll of secrets. Hopefully getting something useful. Clear points. That's pretty good. We're going to take two actions to go here. Last action, we'll investigate again with the right of seeking. We're at a six to four. It's up by two. It's hopefully enough. 
It's a minus one when we need to reveal another token. That's not enough. It ends our turn, unfortunately, and we failed. Let's do upkeep. Okay. Three of four. Counter card is. Um, so either each figure and each enemy in the shadow attacks us or we all lose an action. We're going to take one and one. It's pretty okay. We'll put that one on Pete, on Duke. And we draw another one of these. So we'll take one and one. This is gone. Between actions, I'll use my Scroll of Secrets. Shouldn't have done that, but I don't think my deck changed in any way. Uh, let's pick up this scout ahead. Okay. Now we need to see if we need to expose here. So we will duke into here. We'll investigate at a 5 to 4. And Dexter is going to commit this power word because it's pretty useless in this scenario. So 6 to 4. Okay. We're going to use that action to reveal this guy. That's the Red Web Man. So he engages us and the act advances. So we set aside. He goes away. This goes away because um, that's how the uh, mechanic works. We put in the Tower Bridge and the Tower of London locations into play. And we advance this immediately. Okay. So now 9 Doom. We're playing regular Arkham. The encounter deck and discard. The, the, these shuffle into the encounter deck. If I'm not mistaken, it's along with the discard pile. Where is it? It's this one. Yep, along with the encounter discard pop. Absolutely fine. And now we need a total of 10 clues because we need to spend six here and we need another floor four to get in. So six. So 10. So that was our first action with Mr. Uh, Ashgan P. So we don't need to expose anymore. We're going to probably leave these clues for Dexter. So we're going to use two actions. And. Do we care about this? Hang on. There are no more mini cards, so we can... Let's tank and investigate at a 2 to 4. That's pretty good. That's two cards and two resources. Last action. Is our scavenging doing anything now? Probably not. Um, these are good for further on. Like We could live and learn. Well, what we could do... Yeah, we could do that. We'll we get ready Duke, but I don't think it does much for now. We are looking for a six cents, so last action. We'll just we'll run out this scavenging. Okay, um here, Mr. Dexter. Let's take two actions to get rid of nihilism, and last action we're gonna investigate at a six to four. And we'll commit this Faustian to go seven to four. Okay, minus one, we get these two clues and secure another victory. Okay, um, we have four clues. Let's do upkeep. Okay, four of nine. Encounter card is false lead. He doesn't have clues, so it surges. And there are no enemies in the shadow, so this surges. And now there are enemies in the shadow with this coterie agency. Along with two decoys, we're going to group them. And we have to do this since there's no other, uh, there's no other option. And I need to put a Doom on Mr. Coterie Agency. Okay, we're testing Brain 6 to 3. Um, we're going to commit to watch this and go 7 to 3. Betting 3 resources, so we're up by 4. That should be good enough. Do I bother um, playing out this so I can be up by enough? Um, no, we'll be up by 4. Yep, minus two, so we succeeded by at least one, so we get six back. This goes away, so does this. Okay, uh, we're gonna use, we're gonna, is this during our turn? No, so between actions, we're gonna choose this concealed mini card and test five to two. So minus four, we failed, we take a horror. We're gonna live and learn that test. No, no, we're at a seven to two. So minus one, and let's look at him without exposing. Okay, it's a decoy. Uh, that's pretty good for us. So uh, let's start with Mr. Ashkan. We'll actually take two actions to get rid of this because I'm fed up with taking horror. Last action, we're going to duke into here. We're going to investigate at a 5 to 1. So minus 1. Do I have any items here to return? Not yet. We're going to use that to expose this guy. That is the Coterie Agent. So this goes away because he's discarded. And these two go away as well. 
And now this is the fourth route, so it's a bit harder for us to get it. So uh, let's start with Mr. Uh, let's play with Mr. Dexter. First action, we're going to walk here. Try clumping these clues up. So we're going to discard the Scroll of Secrets and pay one, two, three to play out Clairvoyance. Second action, we're going to use Clairvoyance. So we're at a six to one. That should be good enough. It's minus one. There are no mini cards here, so we just take these two clues. Last action, we're going to start walking towards here. Okay, and we do upkeep. Uh, it's pretty good. Five of nine, encounter card is. The figure's in the dark. There are no enemies in the dark, so this gains search. And now there are enemies in the dark. Okay, so code reagent, long route. Wish two decoys. Once again, our options are pretty limited. We have to do this. One, two, three. And we'll place a doom on this guy. You get. Okay, heavy rain. We're testing at a six to three, and that's going to be good enough for us. So minus one, and there is a decoy at our location, so we need to reveal another one. Minus two, we pass. Okay, uh, once again, let's uh, play with Mr. Ashcan. We're going to investigate at a four to one. Let's go five to one. So minus one, let's expose this guy. It's a decoy. Stay here, you. Um, we'll pitch this fire axe to Ready Duke, and then we'll investigate into here, and we're going to go at a 4-all, and we'll get plus 2, so we're at a 6 to 4. It's a plus 1, we'll use that to expose this guy. Yep, now it is the Coterie reagent. So this is gone. This one's gone, and so is this. And so that's two actions. Last action, I'm going to walk down. Okay, uh, let's go ahead with Dexter. First action, we're going to walk here. Second action, we're going to investigate with the clairvoyance at a 6 to 2, not by 4, that's pretty good. That was a minus 1, not a plus 1. Last action, we will run out this living ink, which has 3 charges, and it puts out 7. Okay, uh, end of the round, we do upkeep. Okay, read the signs pretty good, 6 of 9, counter card is, we either spend a clue or lose half the cards in our hand. Unfortunately, we are going to lose half the cards in our hand, but we can scavenge some of them. You get... Uh, fetch an enemy. <laughs> Put him in the shadows. So let's get the last Coterie Agent that's still in the deck. Okay, that's Coterie Agent A. So he gets two decoys. We'll shuffle them nice, nice and good. One here, one here. And I think it has to go here because it's among connecting locations. So, a bit of a problem, but hopefully it will be good enough. Um, let's start with Ashkan duking into here, investigating at a 4, 5 to 2. So, we succeed. We get to scavenge this back and expose, not you, this guy. It's a decoy. Second action, we're going to... Walk down here with Ashcan, revealing this. Okay, that costs four Pete's clues, two, three, four. Last action, we're going to run out the Swordkin. We'll use that reaction ability to fight at a five to three. That's up by two. Minus one, minus three, we fail. We ended our turn here, so what does he deal? A damage? Do I care about my resources? I don't think so. Just lose the resources. Okay, Dexter, first action, we walk in. Second action, this actually goes away. Well, clairvoyance for the last time, it's 7 to 3, not by 4, that's a minus 2, that's fine. Last action, I don't think we advance yet, because we want to expose this guy. Um, now, the question is, how do we do it? Because I don't have a sword cannon like the other guys. I'll draw a card. Okay, well connected, it's very interesting. We're going to take a damage. 
because we want to play well connected with enough money. We'll do upkeep. Okay, uh, we're at 8 of 9 doom. We need to expose that guy. Power casual entity that uh, takes this away. You get a crypt chill. That's fine. I can just lose one of these. So we're at 7 of 4. It's pretty good. We passed. Um, shall we start with Ashcan? First action will attack with Duke. So we're at a 4 to 3. We'll go 5 to 3 with this. Do we have a fist icon here? 5 to 3, up by 2. That's pretty okay, I guess. You know what? No. We'll start by evading the location at a 5 to 3. It's an auto fail. We'll evade the location one more time. And now we have to do it again. So we'll actually do this. We'll go 5, five to 3, up by 2. Great, this guy's dead. Um, we lose a charge here. We really, really, really want to expose this guy if he is the correct one. However, what happens if you use the wrong one? So let's start by... And he loses two resources. Let's advance. You know what? It moves all the minis into the uh, tower prison. And we also draw the red card of man with two more decoys. It's a bit of a bummer, but if push comes to shove, we lost one turn. We also need to advance the game for ourselves. Okay, uh, first action we'll walk in. Okay, second action we'll use read the signs to investigate at a 9 to 4. It's minus 2, that's fine, that's two clues. We want these clues. And last action, we'll run out well connected. Um, we'll actually pay 1 for it, discarding the right of seeking. So last action, we will, I guess we'll Faustian? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, enemy phase nothing, and we do upkeep. This is a pretty okay-ish time to get this. So everything's exhausted, but we'll get rid of it. We'll reset everything, and we advance. We either draw a coder agent, or we each take a damage and a horror, which is exactly what's going to happen. So damage horror, and damage horror. Counter card is seeing shadows. That's fine. You get. Either spend a clue or lose half the cards in your hand. We'll choose to lose the cards and we'll deny existence it. Okay, uh, we can start with Dexter. So this is going away, unfortunately. Um, first action. We can investigate with this and then we can start fighting the location. Let's investigate and get a plus three. So we're at a five to four and we'll get a plus two. So we're up by three. Okay, that's an Elder Sign. That's pretty good, because I'll return this clairvoyance and draw a card. Gets me a clue. Second action, one, two, three, four, place at clairvoyance. Last action, we'll investigate at a six to four. We'll get plus two with this, so we're up by four. Yep, that's a minus one. And we get this last clue. Oh, there was only one clue left. Well, anyways. Okay, Pete. Obviously, we'll take two actions to get rid of Wrecked by Nightmares. Then we'll end of the road, which draws us a card and gives us a resource. This is big. Although we're out of... And we'll end of the road again. Gives us an action, draws us a card and gives us a resource. We'll use two actions to get rid of this. We'll pitch this, winging it to Ready Duke. And we're going to move Investigate into here. So we're at a four-all. Dexter is going to spend a clue to give it, be, let him be up by two. Yep, and we'll use it to expose a decoy. Okay. All in all, pretty okay turn. We'll do upkeep. Okay, one, seven, counter card is. So we need to take two damage, so two on us. It's pretty bad. We're getting into very, very grim situations. Uh, we do have clues. We're going to spend it to be a four all. And now, even if we fail, we don't drop anything, so. Oh, and we passed. Okay, interesting. So now we need to start uh, exposing stuff at our location and hopefully killing the Red Bug Man. So first action, we'll Sword Cane at 5 to 4. Yep, that's a plus 1. Let's expose. That's a decoy. Second action, we'll evade at a 5 to 4. We'll go 6 to 4 up by 2. Okay. 
So we're left with two really, <laughs> um, it, it has to be one of them. And last action, we'll evade again. We'll go five to four to zero. Let's expose this guy. It's the right above man. Um, who will we put him on? Like I could lightning bolt to make this an azur flame and then start attacking. Or we can, yeah, we'll put him in decks. So what we do is we'll kill this and play out an Azure Flame with Dexter's ability. First action, we'll shoot him with an Azure Flame. So we're at a six to five, seven, eight to five. And we need another brain icon. Let's go nine to five up by four. That's a minus two, that's fine. That's two damage. And uh, we won't risk it. We'll just play a Spectral Razor. We're going at a 9 to 5. That's up by 4. It's minus 3. And this guy is toast. And he goes to the victory display. And now we must advance. Um, could I have waited for the victory enemy from the deck? Probably. And I had pretty good stuff to fight him with. But um, well, we already drew the red of men. So we advanced. He is in the victory display because we defeated him. So uh, R1. So I'm going to use the app to uh, remind me what happens. So we do R1. We're all alive. We choose. Uh, first of all, we gain a victory X. So our victory is one. One from here. One from here. And one from here from locations. And a fourth from the Red Glove Man. So that's four VP. We could have gotten a fifth if we would have... Uh, Waited around for the victory enemy in deck. Run two, three, four, right? Yeah, no more victory locations in play. I know that the set aside isn't a victory location. So we get four experience. We also choose somebody to be the bearer of Eye of Ravens. And since Dexter is only using one stat, we're going to put this on Mr. Ashcan P. So uh, Ashcan is the bearer of the Eye of Ravens. And we uh, each got four, four experience. We spend another time, if I'm not mistaken. When did this happen? Yeah, mark one time in your campaign log. And then we do the interlude. So uh, what's going to happen here is this. I do like juggling um, the tokens. Because I don't want to go up to a lot, a lot, a lot of tokens. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to hide stuff from Flint. Which is going to remove a tablet and add an elder thing. Um, we will not tell him about the disappearances, as I said. So we hid knowledge from... We hit the truth from Taylor. We have one and one. We have some knowledge about uh, all the people, and then we get to embark. So uh, we're going to do the, the upgrades, and we'll show them next uh, next time. But what we're going to do is I'm going to follow a route that was uh, uh, shown by Rather Incoherent, which lets us which lets you play eight out of the ten scenarios and going through uh, without a trace. So what he, what we do is immediately leave London and go to Marrakesh at the cost of one time and play Dead Heat. So that's exactly what we're going to do next time. So until next time, I was Butthead. Thanks for watching.